Cooper found the skateboard park and remembered that the master always carried a whisk, a sign which was a common tool in Taoism that presented the owner as being able to walk on clouds or fly to heaven whenever he wished. A bit like skateboarding, I suppose, he thought to himself. Sounds like a crazed aesthetic quote. He didn't see either the master or the dancing fool. <laughs> Ballina is a town on the Richmond River in northern New South Wales, populated mainly by retired people. But it's also a surfing paradise, with some of the best beaches and surf in Australia. In 1970, a balsa wood raft landed on the beach in Mulalumbaba in Queensland. It had drifted with a crew of Spaniard, a Canadian, a Frenchman, a Chilean for six months across the Pacific from Ecuador, a voyage of 11,000 miles. The raft is preserved now in Santander in Spain, the birthplace of its captain, Vital Alsar. On the 21st of November in 1973, Vital Alsa organized and sailed with a crew of seven men, three more balsa wood rafts, from Ecuador to Australia. 192 days later, they arrived off the coast near Ballina, after a non-stop voyage of 9,000 miles. The three rafts were named Guayaquil, the Mulalumbaba, and the Atslam. The Guayaquil started to sink as it neared Ballina. The crew was taken off and the raft drifted down the coast to Newcastle, where it came ashore and was destroyed by vandals. The Atalan were moored in the Richmond River for some months, but they began to rot and come apart. They were lifted from the river and reassembled into one raft, which now lives in the Ballina Maritime Museum. This was in fact Vital Altsar's third attempt to cross the Pacific Ocean on rafts. His first attempt had failed when worms attacked and ate the raft. These voyages were the longest ever made by rafts across the Pacific in modern times twice as long as the more well-known Contiki expedition, for instance. Vital Alsar continues his adventures at sea, and in 2009 he sailed a specially constructed trimaran built like Spanish galleones around the world in a peace mission from Mexico, where he now lives, to Piraeus in Greece.